Welcome, now we welcome to the program. <laughs> Thank you very much. Finally, it works out. So, how are you doing, Kun Tosa Bon? I'm still fine, uh, Kun Tepichai and yeah. Kun Nakha. I'm still self isolating. I see. Uh -huh. Yes. When you mean self isolating? No, no it, it means social distancing. So, right? distancing. <laughs> you still go out uh, once in a while, right? <laughs> You, you still do go out, I mean, to, to, to fetch groceries yeah, and go that, out yeah. to, uh, to shop for groceries, no, they go out to uh, run in the park, try to stay healthy, but okay. most of the time I stay in my room. I see. Yeah. And what about your, your, your friends, especially your Thai friends, are they doing the same? And what about your, your friends, the people you know, especially Thai friends, are they doing the same? Uh, no, no, there's that. They are very anxious right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, in my, in my courses, there's a, like international students, uh, more than eighty people, but more than half of them have already been uh, have already gone back home. Okay. So that caused me uh, a, a, a panic sensation a little bit. Okay. And among the students who are here in the UK, uh, and then we have like a group chat, we have a group mm -hmm. page uh, about you know we sharing information about the situation about the COVID nineteen. And, uh, and everything, but in the past few days, they, they have been the only thing they have been talking about is about the new law by the civil area or CAAP about that. If we go want to go back to Thailand right now, we need a health certificate, the fit to fly certificate, and also the permit certificate from the, from the embassy in, mm. in London before the measure is being enforced on the 22 of March, which is a very abrupt and sudden creation that mm. pop up there. I see. Some people already book a flight to Thailand next week. Yeah. Now they have to shake and book a new flight in order to go back to Thailand before I the see. new law uh, mm -hmm. being uh, come to effect. Uh -huh. And it, that means it uh, before the 22 of March. And ticket for booking such a flight. Uh, so suddenly it's going to be pricey. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we can see the, the queue was quite long in front of the Royal Embassy in the UK, in London. Do they know any of them who can get health certificate finally after queuing up for quite a long hours, yeah, I, I suppose? Think, actually, the first day that uh, the embassy provides such service to the Thai people is uh, yesterday on the 19th of March. And there are photos of that there are 200 and more people uh, queuing up in front of the embassy because the embassy allows three people at the time to get inside to get their, their health check by the volunteer who is uh, the Thai medical students and to get issued the permit certificate. You, you mean I need, we need the two papers now in order to go back to Thailand. Okay. But uh, the, the, the queue outside is quite disorganized, I would say. Because actually the government of, uh, of the UK advised you that you had to keep this tent one or two meters but, but now kind of people just try to get inside the embassy as quickly as they can and sometimes some people have to wait for like two to three hours in order to get that two papers but most of the people who are who were there yesterday I think the paper they need in order to go back to Thailand mm -hmm. but we still have to wait and see about the measures that the embassy in bank in, in London will put in place in the next few days especially on sun Saturday, tomorrow and Sundays. And because right now they have the application that people can book a queue online on the application before going, actually going to the embassy. I see. I see. Mm -hmm. when, what, what about yourself? Yeah. Have you been able to get the two papers that are needed? You yourself, have you been able to get the two papers that are needed? No, yeah, no, because I don't plan to go back here. Oh, I, I, I will stay here until the very end. So uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to kind of like go just to get the papers because uh, yeah, the declaration said that if I, I or people who don't want to go back to Thailand, they don't need to get the, those two papers because okay. those two papers only vary about no more than three days before the departure. 72 hours, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And how do, how do you take care of yourself right now? If you have symptoms, can you just go to see the doctor? Uh, it's, it's very difficult to do that now, mm. uh, because the GP, uh, I mean the general practitioner, which is like a like a, a hospital that you can go and get your health check and, and get treated for free, because 
the national health service in the UK cover out the cost of your health. But it's now very, it's the NSS and the GP, I mean the medical institution in the UK is being overloaded with I the see. cases okay. that now they only treat the senior cases and the COVID-19 cases. And the government actually suggests that if you have just a flu or just a not too severe illness, you have to try to take care of yourself at home. So this, that is very hard and it actually to get the papers, not from the Thai embassies in London, to get three to five papers from the GP in your local areas, okay. it might take like at least two weeks in order to get that paper issue. So that's, that, that is one another, another concern for the Thai people who want to go back to Thailand because we had to wait so long for to get treated to all to get a service from the GP. I see. Mm -hmm. So what is the general atmosphere in London at the moment like now? Uh, actually, the university across London already warned or advised all the foreign students to go back home mm -hmm. because everything, the courses, the classes, the, all the, the documents, it's already online and they advise that because London is a hotspot of the pandemic of COVID-19 yeah. in the UK at the moment, mm -hmm. they advise our foreign students if you can go back, please go back. Because everything is online now. But there are some students who are still have to be here because of their dissertation periods, which start okay. in the next two months. But some issue may be involving uh, talking to people and experts inside the UK. So that is the kind of people that they cannot go back home. I see. If they want to graduate from the master's degree or the PhD uh. course in the UK. And, and, what, and yourself, what is holding back you from coming <laughs> back to Thailand? <laughs> yeah, actually, because my dissertation topic is about Thai people in the UK. Uh -huh. so, and it's kind of like it costs a, a little bit too much to go back to Thailand. Okay. And with now the new liberation from the CATT, CAAT, that okay. means that there's so many hassles mm -hmm. just to go back okay. to Thailand. It's kind of like, it doesn't make any uh -huh. sense. Actually, I'm fine as I am now, try to take care of myself, mm. uh, uh, consume a lot of weak vitamins, I go out to uh, exercise in the gym, in the park, and try to social distancing myself from the others. So um, I still, I will manage to graduate okay. here in the UK. And okay. we'll, it's actually, it's quite interesting to see how the government in the UK uh, uh, cope with the situation. Mm. Kind of, yeah, you, you're not going to be in the country that have a very strong pandemic. Mm. Now, it kind of like it's, it's really lag situation. So okay. being a journalist and being here in the UK, and, <laughs> but but yeah. how is the the sentiment of the people in general toward the measures being taken by the government? Yeah, I, actually, about two three weeks ago, when the Boris Johnson announced that uh, we're gonna take the, the policy and put uh, put in place the measure to promote the herd immunity, that means that more they expect more than. 60% of the population or means more than 6, 36 million people to get infected and to get uh, mm. killed by themselves, kind of in, develop immunity system yeah. in order to stop the pandemic. People are panic, were panicking, including me, because that means that the government uh, were willing to sacrifice people just to get home, which is, uh, it, which is pretty bad. Actually, some students, including mm. Chinese students, uh, uh, start a petition to the government and to the school that they want to go back to China now because okay. they don't mm. they don't they didn't think that this kind of immunity system would work. But now I think the situation is the sensation of the people in the UK is better mm. because now the government is starting to schools and everything and that's yeah.